Ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Calf Showroom proudly presents the lovely Golden Calf Dancers. are unbearable, but it was all worth it to hear that man yell, where are the gay guys with the tigers? <laughs> hey, excuse me, buddy. Can, uh, can I have that when you're done with it? Oh, Dwight, come here. Your wife needs a kiss on her cold, dead oh. lips. Mm. Mm, that was nice. You had tacos. And what else? <laughs> More tacos? Dwight, what were you celebrating? Are you ready for this? My mother is finally leaving Las Vegas and going back to Long Island. No. Yes, yes, she's gone. No more nagging us about going to college or hassling me about throwing away my life to become a pro wrestler. Or telling me I'll never make it as a dancer. I mean, hello. I think it's pretty obvious I'm living my dream here. Why? Okay, here she comes. Look, she just wants to say goodbye, so try not to look too happy. <laughs> try harder. Hey there, kids. Why is this my Easter basket? <laughs> well, I'm all checked out and ready to leave Vegas. I'll be out of your hair so you can do your little happy dance. Look, I know we've had our problems. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay, okay. I know you haven't loved my being here, but I meant well. And don't forget, my offer to send you both to college still stands. Unless Dwight leaves you, Nikki, in which case, always remember, decaf is the orange handle, regular is the brown. Well, I'm impressed. You really held back. Oh, please. I'm flipping her off like a madman under here. As you know, Washington is full of memorials. All right, my little hothouse beauties. Time to hit the buckle. Go! <laughs> hey, Thor, you believe we're actually getting paid to do this? How cool is that? I know I would totally do this for free. <laughs> Chickasaurus, you're up. Ugh! Who wants a piece of this? Huh, pigs? <laughs> <laughs> I want to make a baby with her, Dwight. A baby... Anything. I get the feeling with her, the way it works is she leaves her eggs behind and you fertilize them before she gets back. <laughs> Come on. Four, you're up next. Cry baby out of the ring. What's wrong? Well, you didn't pass your physical, so the CWF is canceling your medical insurance. They found something in the x ray. Oh, are you kidding? What? Well, my money would have been on a gut load of surfboards and chum. No, they said they found scar tissue on your knee. Oh, that's nothing. That's from back in junior high school doing karate. Let me tell you, do not pick on the Laotian transfer student until you've seen his moves. <laughs> it's a heartwarming tale of racism, crybaby. 
good. Look, you gotta have insurance to wrestle. I'll let it slide for a couple of weeks till you get a new policy. Here's the name of a company. Um, if you can avoid using their doctors, I'd recommend it. All right, Martine's changing the show. Huh, I guess he got sick of playing to a bunch of empty tables. Decapitation was a weird choice for the dinner show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the dance, your attention, please. I'd like to read you a memo I received just moments ago from the owners of the hotel, dear Martine. Regarding your dance number based on the beheading of Marie Antoinette and friends, you're fired. <laughs> Again. <laughs> we feel we were misled when you promised us a French topless review. If you can remedy this problem by choreographing a more traditional topless review, we'll be happy to give you your job back. <laughs> Again. <laughs> The Resort Management Consortium, a division of the Jackass Group. <laughs> so there it is. Yeah, well, you're not going to go along with this, are you, Martine? Oh, no, no, I fully intend to get fired and spend the rest of my life staging No, No, Nanette at the Bugger Off Retirement Center in Bite Me, Nevada. I thought you were an artist. I am an artist. Look, this will be the most artistic Topless review ever to grace a Vegas stage. You'll have hats. Good. I'll take three. <laughs> well, well, I can't do it. I mean, I'm not real comfortable getting naked in front of strangers. I have to get drunk on the way to the gynecologist. <laughs> Look, if you don't want to do it, you can just take the month off without pay. What? No, no, I, I can't afford to go a month without a paycheck. Then join us on the low road. You start the car, Martine, I'll put the top down. Oh, and for those of you bearing your, uh, bobos, there'll be an extra 400 a week in your pay envelopes. If you're having trouble with the math, that's an extra 200 per week per bobo. <laughs> well, I am not going to do it. I didn't study dance for 16 years so I can stand on a stage and have people watch me bounce. Come on, Nikki, it's not a lap dance. You're just topless. It's nothing you didn't show your driving instructor. <laughs> Don't judge me. Hey. Hey, honey. How was your day? You know what? It, it doesn't matter. Because everything is okay once I see your face. And drink about nine beers. Can I get some service here, please? Need nine beers to fix your day? I'm trying to do it with two Long Island iced teas. So, whatever it is that we're going through here, honey... Can't be as bad as this drinking problem. <laughs> so you had a bad day too, huh? Okay. Odds. One, One, two, two three, three, shoot. shoot. <laughs> I flunked my physical for the CWF and they pulled my medical coverage. Oh, that's impossible. You're in great shape. Inch for inch, you're as healthy as anything else your size. <laughs> uh, it's just my me, but I only have two weeks to come up with my own policy or I'm out. And I called around. The cheapest one is $1,800 up front. And that's with the no anesthesia clause. <laughs> Kids! Look who's here! Save me a seat. N no. No, this is not possible. I took her to the gate myself. Well, obviously that's not enough. Next time you take her to the gate and you kill her. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing here? You won't believe this. I was waiting for my plane and I started playing the quarter slots. The next thing I know, boom, I'm up $500. So I skip the flight, I come back here, I hit the poker tables, and 27 hours later, I'm up 15 grand. Dwight, I'm chasing the dragon and I've never felt more alive. $15,000? Uh huh. <clears throat> Mom, this is. Uh... Well, really embarrassing, but I need a small loan. You need money? No problem. I'm so rich, I'm not even going to pick that up. <laughs> Mom, are you sure this is okay? Because I need $1,800 for medical insurance. Whoa, that's quite a piece of change. But you can't go without medical insurance. What if you get sick? Wow. <laughs> you are the best. You have no idea. What a blessing this is. There's no telling what we would have done to get this money. Anything for you, kids. Now, here are my terms. Uh, pardon me? I want a time limit on how long Dwight's going to be chasing this wrestling nonsense. If I give you the money, 
I want to see you earning a decent living within a year. Otherwise, you go to college. You know I'm not going to do that. Then I'm not going to give you the money. Fine. <laughs> Keep your money. We'll come up with this some other way, right, Nick? Absolutely. We'll take those other eight beers now. <laughs> no problem. I'll be at the poker tables if you need me. You believe me? Wait, there's more. And who would have thought of two people who've made such sensible career choices as wrestler and showgirl would find themselves strapped for cash? <gasps> dancer on hiatus from the Golden Calf Hotel, and I was just wondering, your production, Girls, 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 that's not all nude, is it? <laughs> oh, it's all male. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't see all the question marks. Okay, I struck out. Apparently, they won't let you sell all your blood at one time. <laughs> or your sperm. <laughs> But, um, I think we've hit a dead end here. Now, hold on. Let's take another look at this. Uh, here. Excuse me. Um, if we cut back on going out to eat and going out to the movies and living indoors... <laughs> see? That's the problem right there. <laughs> um, I may have a solution. My dance review is going topless. No. I like it pays an extra $1,600, and if I don't do it, they're going to lay me off for a month. I don't care. You're not doing it. I'll get a second job. Oh, really? And you know one that pays $1,800 in two weeks and doesn't end with you naked at airport customs saying, I don't know how that got up there? <laughs> you know what? If that's all you're worried about, we'll just go back to my mother. She may be wearing the glove, but at least she's not a stranger. <laughs> She's gonna use it to control us. You were right when you told her no, and damn sexy when you did it. So I'm sorry. We have no choice. I'm doing the show. No, you're not. This isn't your decision. These aren't yours. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I use them a lot more than you do. <laughs> Dwight, I'm not letting you risk your wrestling career. You've worked too hard to get where you are. Nikki, you are my wife, and there is no way in hell I'm gonna let you do this. Swing and miss. Okay. <laughs> this works both ways, you know. How would you like it if I unwrapped my package and flung it around for a living? <gasps> if it meant keeping us free from your mother, I'd be right there in the front row yelling, duck. <laughs> the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. Our all new Nikki will return on the WB's Hype Night. No matter how dangerous the adventure. Somebody can. Sure. I know what boys like. I know what guys want. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. It's kill like. the music. These breasts are all over the place. <laughs> it's not going to be any better tonight either when these tops and these bras come off. All right, you, I want you over there, you in the back. Where's Nikki? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, I want you up front, love. Oh, I can, here, just find her back here, thank you. <laughs> Nikki. Okay. Mary, why don't you go take Nikki's spot in the back? Oh, yeah, this won't be a humiliating walk. <laughs> if you'd like, I can put a bag over my head. Yeah, we'll try it this way first. <laughs> Let's go from uh, where we left off, shall we? Five, six, seven, eight. No, no, stop, stop. Look, you're not doing it right. I want this classy. I want this elegant. At the same time, the owners want to see some jiggling. So, um, hop. their tables and stir their freaking drinks <laughs> well i would but they're already doing that over at girls 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 stop a little more stop a little more <laughs> all right people your leader speaks 
Now, I know these past few weeks, a lot of you have become friends. And someday you might have to face that friend in the ring. You might have to perform an atomic monkey drop on your friend <laughs> until brains leak from his ears. <laughs> it's what we do. You know, for the kids. <laughs> you must learn to be antagonists. You must learn to antagonize each other. Sometimes it's hard to antagonize a friend. You have to imagine him as the enemy. Cry, baby. If you don't get that medical coverage, I'm going to replace you with the next pear-shaped doughboy that walks in through the front door. Now, you hate me for that, don't you? Good. Take that hate you feel toward me and turn it on Thor. Now! <laughs> you short, jug-eared egomaniac. <laughs> Well, you'll pay for that later, but good energy. Keep going. Hey, wussy boy. How's your girlfriend? Or should I say the video store? <laughs> oh, I don't know. How's your wife? I heard tonight's her big debut, waving her wah-wahs. Hi, <laughs> baby. This is just an exercise. You cannot take this stuff personally. <laughs> Now, I might have assumed that by Wawa's he meant Tata's. Two pair aces and jacks. Three kings caught it on the river. <laughs> See you, boys. Next time I'll kiss you first. Come on. Hi, boys. Hi. Uh, can, can we talk real quick about that loan? I got to get to the opening of Nikki's new show. Oh, she's in a new show? What tacky costume did they have her wearing this time? Well, this time there's no tacky costume, I promise you. Look, um, if I'm asking you to give me the loan with no conditions just because you love me. Honey, I do love you. That's why there are conditions. I want you to have a real future. Something that doesn't require you to hoist another man in the air by his crotch. God help me, Mom. That's what I want to do. Here. Here, deal the cards. What are you doing? We'll play for it. One hand. I win, I get 1800 bucks. Okay, if you win, I will go to college. You're on. That's against house rules. I'm dealing. <laughs> you sure you want to do this? Yep. Oh, you are going to college. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to college, all right. The college will whoop in your mama. <laughs> Two cards. Sir. One. Care to sweeten the pot? I'm not getting rid of Nikki. Okay, I call. <laughs> Ten high straight. Ouch. Three queens. Take it. Wait a second. I, I win. <laughs> Booyah! Come to pot! <laughs> Boy, you really got me. Good job. Hold it. Turn over your last two cards. I don't have to, honey. Those are the rules. You let me win, didn't you? Oh, thanks, Mom. I love you. You didn't let him win. He beat you. thinks he owes me. I can work that for years. Hey, hey, hey. Nikki. Since I'm not dancing tonight and I know there's nothing I can say that'll make this any better for you, I've decided as a show of my support, I'm going to take off all my clothes and stand here in the wings totally naked. <laughs> that is so sweet. So you actually want me to do that? I mean, how's that going to help? Okay, whoa, next... Whoa, excuse me. Not looking. Not looking. Not not touching. Not not touching. Oh, Nikki, look, your husband is shy. Get over it. Hey, sweetie, great news. You don't have to do this. I know you hate that I'm doing this, but I'm not letting you quit wrestling. It's the only way we can get the money in time. Oh, money. Hmm. Let's see. Is eighteen hundred dollars enough? Oh my God. Wait. Yeah. Assuming you sold everything we own, where'd you get the other fifteen hundred? I won this from my mom in a poker game. And look, no strings. 
Hey, tell me something. When you won this, did she, like, collapse on the ground, swallow her tongue? No, she took it pretty well. Well, it's still good news. Come on, let's get you out of here. I'll buy you a bottle of champagne and a big-ass sweatshirt. Honey, thank you. And I love you very much, but it's too late. Everybody is counting on me. I've got to go on. No! I am your husband, and I say you are not going on. <laughs> yes, that's pretty much never going to work, is it? No. <laughs> I'm a 300 pound guy with a buzz cut you'd think it would <laughs> so what are you saying I want all this for nothing ladies and gentlemen the golden cop showroom proudly presents the lovely the ravishing golden cop dancers <laughs> From Michael J. Every day. Let's spend the week together. <laughs> On the WB Monday night, Mary Camden questions her values. You are not going to even see these people again, ever! An all-new 7th Heaven. Then, on an all-new Roswell. What if something's really out there? Travel back 50 years to discover the truth. You sold me out! I had orders! Roswell, summer of 47, after an all-new 7th Heaven on the WB Monday Night. You're watching WB21 Birmingham. W